Hey guys, it's Devin and today I have a homecoming inspired look and this is like full face, like it's really simple on the eyes but it's like straight up like a flawless foundation type of thing. I show you different lip combinations, all sorts of stuff like that. This entire tutorial is drugstore products so therefore it's really easy to find all the products. It's cheap, um, it's really ideal for somebody who doesn't have a lot of makeup or doesn't have a lot of money to spend on makeup. And here we go. So we're going to be starting out with the face in this tutorial. And first I'm going to be applying NYX's Photo Loving Primer all over my face. And I think it's important to use primers, um, especially for occasions like this, special occasions and um, occasions where there's going to be a lot of photos taken and times when your makeup needs to last all day. Now it is time to conceal, and today I'll be using a variety of concealers, but I'm just going to start out with my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. It's just in a tube like this, it has a brush on the end, and you squeeze the product out, and I'm going to be concentrating this on my under eye area. Also going to put some there, and around my mouth. And I'm just going to blend that out with a foundation brush. Next I'm going to be using NYX's HD Photogenic Concealer. This is the green one and um, green cancels out red because it's the opposite on the color wheel. So what you do is you, if you have this and have a lot of redness, you can apply it on the areas where there is a lot of redness. And then you can blend it out and it will neutralize it. I'm going to be using my finger since it's so pigmented. The other thing to understand is that you don't have to completely blend it out because you will be putting foundation over this so you just kind of want to spread it out make sure it's not too thick in areas obviously but it doesn't need to be 100% blended into your skin tone. And now that I look like a ridiculous ghost, I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation. And I'm using the Mineral Stick Foundation by NYX. And <laughs> this is a really good um, medium to full coverage foundation. It's in a stick formula. And this is the shade 03, which is light. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And I'm going to go back in with that foundation brush and rub this in. Make sure you uh, blend it into your neck so you don't have that nice line between your face and your neck. A good way to do that is just to uh, give yourself a double chin. Make sure everything's all blended out. I feel like my face looks significantly paler on camera than it does in real life. <sighs> oh well. Back to concealers, I'm going in with another NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, only this one's in skin color. I'm just going to go over those few problem spots that did not cover all the way with the foundation. And I don't do this much makeup on a daily basis, it's just, you know, you want that flawless base for a formal event. I'm going to go ahead and contour and for that I'm going to use a darker mineral stick foundation. This one is 09 Caramel. And I'm just going to go really lightly under my cheekbones. I'm going to do the same thing along the sides of my nose. 
and then on my temples. And a little bit on the sides of my chin. Just gonna go in with that same foundation brush, kind of blend these out. I'll also use my finger as well. I'm going to go in with a powder and just kind of chisel it out a little bit more. And this is Rimmel's Natural Bronzer. Rimmel's Natural Bronzer in 021 Sunlight. I'm just going to take an angled blush brush and just lightly go over where I contoured. But I'm not going to do the nose just because I don't feel like I need to. And now for a blush, which I usually don't wear, but it's homecoming. <laughs> I'm going to be using Fox in a Box by Hard Candy, and this is called Smooth Talker, and it's just four shades, and then you swirl it around with your brush. I'm using the same angle blush brush. I'm tapping it off and then I'm just going to go right above where I place that contour. So right on top of the cheekbones. I don't know if y'all be able to see. It's just like a nice rosy glow. It's not heavy or anything. Just going to carry a little bit more on the apples of the cheeks as well. For highlighter, I'm going to be using a Hard Candies So Baked Bronzer in Tiki. And it's just a really nice shimmery color with um, gold embedded in it. Just using that with the same blush brush, I um, clean it off first and then place it right on top of where you put the blush. You can bring it up into your temple a little bit. I don't feel like the camera's catching it very well, but it just adds a really nice gold shimmer to the cheeks. And then if you'd like, you can place some along the nose and on the center of the forehead just to draw more attention to that area. And to finish off the face, I'm just going to go in with my Be A Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder. Um, this is the same exact thing as the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. That one's just in the other room, but they're the exact same product and NYX is available at the drugstore. So. I'm just going to use this one, but y'all know where to find the cheaper one. And I'm just going to use that with a large face brush and kind of dab it on lightly. And then blend it down. And I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick. I'm using the same shadow, or the same shadow, the same palette that I'm going to be using on the eyes. And this is the NYX Love in Paris in... Parisian, Parisian chic. There's lots of nice matte shades, so I'm just going to use this shade right in the middle to just lightly fill in my brows. Because I don't have a cheap primer, I'm going to be using this NYX, NYX, NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. And I'm just going to apply that very lightly along the eye area. And then blend it out with your, with, with your finger. I'm going to take your finger through the camera and blend it out on my eyeball. And when applied thinly, it will help make your shadows last longer. And you just have to make sure that you blend it out really well or else it'll make them crease. But we don't want creasy shadows. I'm going to be using NYX's Love in Paris palette. And as you can see, this is very well loved. This is not actually mine. This is my best friend Caitlin's. So shout out to Caitlin. Thanks for letting me use your makeup. I'm taking this nice champagne shimmery shade right here with a flat shader brush and just applying that on the center of the lid. 
going to be using this center shade and it's just a nice mid-tone matte brown and I'm going to be using that same exact flat shader brush and I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner and the outer corner. So basically the areas where you didn't put the first shade that we used. And now I'm just going to use the same shade with a small fluffy brush and just going to apply that in the crease and blend it out. I'm now using the fluffiest fluffy brush that I own and this golden brown shimmery shade right here. I'm just going to be applying that in the outer corner, in the crease, as well as the inner corner. So you're wanting to kind of keep this gap in the middle lighter and then kind of shade around it. For a little bit more depth, going in with this shade right next to it, which is just a deeper, darker brown. And first I'm going to take it on the small flat shader brush and apply it. And now I'm going in with NYX's Roll On Shimmer, and this is in the shade Nude. And this is basically a product where the shimmer's in the bottom, and then there's a roller ball, and then you roll the ball to get the shimmer out. <laughs> so you could either put it on your hand and then pick it up with a brush, or you can just apply it directly on your eye like I am here. And yeah, as you can see, it's very pigmented. It's very nice. And you're going to leave it exactly like this. That was a joke. Just kind of going to blend that out. Next, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild white eye pencil, and I'm just going to line my waterline with that. And using white is just going to make your eyes appear larger. Next, I'm just going to curl my lashes, and I'm going to be using two different mascaras right now. I'm going to be using Lash Blast Fusion on the top, and then my Lash Blast Clump Crusher on the bottom lashes. text in me and that is the finished eyes and face and now I'm just going to show you a few different lip combinations that you can do with this this first is just a nice pink peachy neutral and this is Maybelline in pink me up the next shade is a deeper more berry like color and this is NYX's soft matte lip cream in Prague the last one that I'm showing is NYX's Circe and this is just a nude and this is the finished tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, or anything, feel free to leave them down below. The products will be listed in the description bar if you need to go back and look at anything. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. Um, I got a Facebook page. I got a makeup social. You can look. All that stuff will be down below. There's a lot of cool information. You should go check it out. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, like this video, share me with your friends, check out my other videos, you know the drill. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Or you can wear this sensible lipstick. Who wouldn't want to wear this to homecoming?